Good morning, good afternoon, good evening for all our educators from all over the world. From Juan Juan Village, you're welcome to our 17th webinar, series of webinar for started in 2021, continuing this year. And this year, first beginning of the year, we have, we are honored to have with us a great guest, a great international speaker, international workshop leader and educator, Mick Chen. Welcome, Mick. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you, John's introduction. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to present this uh, webinar um, and the first, uh, the first one in 2022. Okay, so first of all, Happy New Year. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mick. Uh, uh, Mick Chen has been in the education technology, STEAM education, and learning development fields for over 19 years with insight, entrepreneurship, and enthusiasm. He is now working as Managing Director, Greater China for Kubo Robotics APS, responsible for the overall performance in China. Kubo is a Danish kids coding education company, a pioneer in developing no screen based coding language, tactile language, and hands-on coding course for students. Mick holds Master of Management in HRM, from Shanghai University of Finance and Economics and the Bachelor of Economics from Shanghai Institute of Foreign Trades. Mick is a certified career development coach. Welcome Mick again, and we're very honored to have you today with us. Okay, uh, appreciate it again. Okay, uh, very detailed about my background. Okay. And More details, yeah. but I, did, I didn't want to <laughs> take from the time of the attendees. No, your background is four or five pages. Of, Okay, great educator. <laughs> Thank you, Mick. Thank you very much for being with us okay. today. Yeah. And uh, my first question will be, how can, it's, it's more a question with three questions inside. How can yeah. we define programming? Is it just writing a group of instructions or it goes beyond that? Do we need mm -hmm. computational thinking and programming to nurture the 21st century lifelong learner traits? within mm -hmm. our students mm -hmm. and what is the main difference between programming and coding or they are the two faces of the same coin? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. And uh, I'll I, I ask you your, I answer your second question first That's regarding the, the importance of computation thinking and the programming in the 21st life, lifelong learners. Because uh, according to my memory, uh, uh, in in twenty nineteen, okay, in the uh, World Davos Economic Forum, uh, it raised the three critic, uh, cre three essential uh, skills for twenty first lifelong learners. Okay, mm -hmm. first is I'm not sure anyone familiar with that. First is the analytical, uh, critical thinking. Second is crit uh, uh, creative thinking. The third is problem solving and uh, computational thinking. Um, okay, people always link computational thinking with program. And uh, for me, computational thinking is the best way to solve problem. So it's mm -hmm. a kind of problem solving skills and mm -hmm. how to build up this kind of uh, computational thinking. Uh, I think literally, how to build computer thinking is to think in the computer way. This is my answer. And uh, according to my experience, I like to uh, um, introduce uh, more about my background. Uh, according to my uh, past uh, uh, working experience, I'm working on the online education, offline education, in school education, and after school education. Um, I've been experience a lot of uh, instruments and the subjects special, uh, specialized in the STEAM set. Mm -hmm. And I found a, one typical issue. I found the teachers are quite reluctant to teach coding or program. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, okay, uh, what are you thinking about programming and the coding? But I always ask a teacher the same question. Okay, maybe I, I raised a question today, okay, because I, we are a small group people together and you can 
type your answer in the chat box. Okay. Then as I hear, I got the first question. Um, what do you think when we're talking about the program? What is your first sight or scenery when we ask the question, program or coding? You can type your answer in the chat box. Yes, let's see the answers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when they hear programming, what's the first thing? Uh, I have yes. one answer what is software it? or application. Purpose Second of it. Answer, okay. Of it. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Cedar, uh, uh, I mean, just the first thought. Okay, what we talk about. Okay, your gut feeling regarding programming and the coding. Mm -hmm. Okay. Implementation <laughs> of logic Project, yeah. using different okay. language. Make a formula to calculate a bunch of data for a result. <laughs> data is not okay. <laughs> no, lot, lot of teachers. They are quite similar. Okay, they will mm. they, they will see uh, the computer. They will see the screen. They will see something in the matrix. Okay, mm. zero one zero one stuff. Okay, because um, most of people when we're talking about programming and coding, they mix the two concepts. Mix oh, the two see. concepts. Yeah. So here is a, a basic definition regarding programming and the coding. Yeah, uh, to be honest, I'm not a computer science major. So um, uh, I'm, all this concept is based on my past working experience and what I found and collaborated with other experts. And mm -hmm. you can input your knowledge, okay, anytime in the chat box. Okay, so, Programming is a set of instructions to some device for performing, performing tasks on behalf of human for doings. Okay, so I just highlight in right, red, red. Okay, the performing task. Programming is performing a task. Okay, it's more like uh, um, some automation or whatever. Okay, we let the machine or let the computer to do for human. Mm. But for coding, coding is kind of act of translating, mm. translating instructions for computer, for human language, from human language to a language a machine can understand. So coding is kind of translating instruction. Okay, mm -hmm. so they are separate concepts. So coding is kind of as a facet of program. So mm -hmm. they are different concepts, but why people uh, uh, have this kind of uh, mixed concept? Because uh, um, in most of case, pro programmer and a coder, they are the same pers person. Same person, yeah. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're the same person, yeah. So uh, next I'd like to share uh, another uh, interpretation of programming and the coding by a famous Chinese professor, Wen Kai, uh, who is working uh, in Zhejiang University right now, okay? So this is the, the words from Mr. Professor Wen Kai, okay? Programming is different from writing software. Programming is an intellectual activity. It used language and the tools to express human thoughts. Writing software is what coders do. Okay, it gives us a very clear definition, okay, of program and the coding. So for me, I think this word, uh, this, this sentence mm -hmm. is so important. It enlightens every teacher's mindset, which means, okay, programming is something like teaching English teaching math, teaching other subjects. It's just kind of teaching intellectual activity. Okay. They just use different expression, okay, to express human thoughts. But coding itself is kind of a language translating the purpose from human to machine, okay. In another word, I'm not sure um, will you encounter in your daily life or not. 
when you're talking about, uh, okay, it's in, the importance of coding for kids in the future. Some parents may ask, they said, okay, my, my kid won't become a, a software developer in the future. Okay, uh, he, she wanna be, uh, become a, 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 a pianist. Okay, well, okay. But in this sentence, it indicates very clear. Okay, not every kid will become a coder or program, but every kid should learn the oh. program, okay, because this is an intellectual activity, the same as math, as English, okay, yeah. So this is the very, very important sentence. I think the most important sentence in this overall slides, okay, yeah. Thank you very much. So uh, as uh, we see uh, today, uh, computer programming or computational thinking is the basis, as you said, of the 21st century learner traits. Most of the traits, they are based on that. If you don't have yeah. that computational thinking in your mind, or is that your mind is not trained on computation, you cannot be 100% the 21st century lifelong learner. So that's why mm -hmm. we, we, we need to make sure that when we say co when we say programming, computer thinking, it doesn't mean that you need to be a computer and start programming. It means that your mind must be trained, as you said, to have this capacity, this ability to think and to solve and to create and to critically think. That's why it's very, very important. A very, yeah. very uh, good answer. Thank you very much, Mick, for that. My uh, second question is that, is there a link between human language and programming language? And what are the different phases and milestones of the evolution of human language and programming language? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My answer is uh, definitely sure. Yeah. So, um, because I, I, I'm in the English teaching field for almost mm. ten years. Okay. So I always to use the the, the samples of uh, English. Okay. While we're talking about uh, programming, okay, mm -hmm. the importance of programming. So, mm -hmm. uh, while we talk about English, okay, you say why we learn English. Because uh, not all of us, uh, 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 I'm native Chinese speaker, I'm not English speaker, okay? Mm. And uh, when we, the reason why we learn English because we want to communicate with foreigners, yeah, from abroad. So English is kind of communicate tool, communication tool. Mm. So I think all the language is the same, okay? This is kind of communication tool. So program language is the same nature as human language. It's, it's also a kind of communication tool, especially in the AI age. Okay, when you think about your kids uh, in your school, okay, in the future, they are the, the citizen of the AI age. They have a lot of chance to deal with machine, deal with computer, deal with AI. How to communicate with machine? How to communicate with AI? The efficient way is to, okay, to communicate in the, AI way in the language which the machine can understand. Okay, this is the importance of learning programming, especially in this AI age. And uh, uh, I prepared several slides uh, and purposely to answer your question. Okay, Thank so you. yeah, uh, to all of you, I will uh, raise question and I welcome you to uh, give me your input. Mm -hmm. in the next slide, okay? So I just uh, try to uh, elaborate the evolution of uh, human language uh, and the computer language, okay? We try to find the similarity between human language and the computer, computer language. So first, okay, you see from the left, left picture, Okay, anyone who can recognize what this means, or anyone recognize what kind of language show on the left corner, you can put it in your chat box. Okay, here. Yeah. Let's see what they want to answer. English? Yeah, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> English with something else, I don't know. Greek, Latin, and English? 
Greek, Latin, and English. Coding language? Uh, uh, Greek, Greek, Latin, okay. uh, and I'm, English. I'm, uh, left. Uh, yeah, first. Okay. So we just see left. Okay. Hmm. In the left. In the left, what kind of language it is? The mix English and the Latin. <laughs> yes, we have we have an answer from Scott. He's saying I see IPA mixed with English and Latin. Uh, okay, Subra yeah. is saying coding language. Yeah. Coding yeah. language. Okay. Uh, Doctor yeah, 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 yeah. English mixed. So you have a lot of answers okay. here. Old language, maybe <laughs> Swedish and English. Some people. So everyone is different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I I, I double checked on uh, Google. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so what what you what you see on the left is English. English. This is English. But this is Asian English. Oh, One thousand okay. years. One thousand years ago, mm -hmm. Asian English. Okay. Now we see uh, in the right. Okay. What kind of what kind of computer language? It is. Anyone who can recognize? What Let's kind see the of computer language? Let's see. Assembly. Wow. Assembly language. Wow, wow, wow. wow. So you wow, have experts wow. here, huh? <laughs> yeah, experts, real experts. Okay. Assembly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone uh, 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 ever heard the assembly language? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think in the computer, um, Asian time. Okay. It belongs to the Asian time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nobody use assembly language nowadays. Uh, when I deliver my speech in front of Chinese uh, teachers, most of them never use this kind of language, okay, anymore. Yeah, mm. so, so I use assembly language and comparing with the Asian English language because in their background, in the language background, okay, they indicate almost the same Asian, Asian. So, uh, what is the similarity? Okay, as I said, language is a kind of communication tool. So nowadays, nobody can recognize left and nobody can recognize right. Okay, so you can see it is, it had already become the obstacle to communicate. So we have a must to evaluate, evaluate the language and the computer language and we improve it. Yeah. Yeah, someone saying Rowan improve language, yeah. Yes, and then we have, uh, okay, we improve the language. Okay, what is the language? What is the English language? Okay, of course it is English. Okay, anyone can recognize it in the left? Old English, they're saying, old English. Yeah. Um, old Gothic. Old Gothic. Okay. Yeah, super I saying old Gothic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, old Gothic. Uh, yeah. So, in the uh, previous slides, okay, this is old English and uh, Asian English. Okay, this is called Middle English. Middle English. Mm. Okay, five hundred years ago. Five hundred years ago. Something in five hundred years ago. Okay. And anyone who can recognize? Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mr. Muhammad. Okay, yeah, yeah. C language, yeah. Doctor Liu. Okay, C language. C -language. You have experts here mixed today. All of them are experts in coding and programming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, some words are not clear. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. I, I try to speak louder. Yeah, okay. Perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, th this is the C language in the right corner. Uh, in the in the right part. Okay. This is the C language. Okay. In the C language, you see. Okay. There's a lot of uh, English. Letters and the English words found okay in this language, mm -hmm. but anyone who can read this C language, anyone who can read this C language, do you understand what this language means? Well, unless they are computer science programmers, they will understand. Yes, yes. Unless you are computer science, okay, mm -hmm. you can understand because you should spend at least one or two years to study C language. The same mm -hmm. as we learn Middle English language nowadays. Okay, you cannot, you will not 
uh, in, uh, conference the Middle English language in the middle school. It belongs to something in the university. Okay, because the learning costs are quite high to learn C language, the same as Middle English language. So we still need to improve our language, both in the human language and in the computer language. So we improve more and okay. Uh -huh. Harry so, Potter. Any, any, anyone, anyone? <laughs> 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 Everyone is happy now. You put Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, put Harry Potter. Okay. Anyway, I think everyone recognizes this left corner. Okay, very easily. Okay, Harry Potter. Right? Okay, this is the modern English, modern English, which means as long as you understand English, you can, okay, read. You can read. Then anyone recognize the right, right part? What kind of computer language it is? Uh, Fuad is saying, Mr. Fuad, uh, uh, basic. So <laughs> Muhammad is saying yeah, Python. Python. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Python, <laughs> Python. Yeah, because it's, it's written on the screen. I go print hello Python. You can recognize ah, yes, the Python behavior. There, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can recognize the behavior. The performing task of this program very easily. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because. Uh, there's a typical name for this kind of uh, language, like Python, JavaScript. This is interpretive language, interpretive language. Mm -hmm. What is mean interpretive language? Okay, it's just use English to interpret this mm -hmm. profound, complete or advanced language. So you, as long as you understand English, it use some simple uh, English syntax to express in the computer way. Okay, you don't need to spend one or two years in university to learn Python. Okay, you just need three months or four months as long as mm. your English is okay. You can learn computer language. Okay, this is uh, one advantage of the interpreted language. Okay, but uh, as, as, as educator in this group, okay, you're facing a lot of kids Okay, in four, in five, in six, uh, their vocabulary is so limited. How to mm. teach them to, to read, how to teach them the computer language, then we need improve to catering the, the amount of kids. Here, we have another format of Harry Potter. Okay, Other what is it? Okay, this is not English, okay? This is a painting book, mm. painting book, okay? Because uh, it's used this kind of uh, uh, concrete illustration, simple, simple vocabulary or sim yeah, simple sentence to emphasize the, some abstract concept behind it. So it's quite similar, I, I see, okay, yeah. Some uh, educator has already yeah, the already block programming. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people yeah. are. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's Chinese version. Okay. Yeah. This is Scratch. This is Scratch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Scratch also use the same way to express the human thoughts in the kids' way. In the kids' way. What is the kids' way? Okay. They, the vocabulary list limited, but they can use this kind of block. They can use some simple simple vocabulary okay yeah then they can link them together and make a computer understandable program okay this is scratch purpose but okay here i have another question right for you guys and uh, do you know what is the suggestion for this kind of for scratch uh, i mean when kids prefer to learn scratch when kids prefer to learn Scratch. Okay. You mean, you mean in their uh, first, when, first year, when, KG, yeah, KG, KG, yeah, first oh, yeah. year? KG, yeah, when, when, what, at what age? Four at years, five age? years old, in my opinion. Four or five yeah, years can, old. Yeah, four or five years. Primary? Hmm. Primary, yes. When they can read the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here I type, 
that answer. Eight plus. Yeah. Mm. A plus. A plus. Yes. Uh, yeah. Grade two or grade three. Mm -hmm. this, this is the official official preference at the age. Okay. So eight plus, eight plus. Why? Why? Because uh, before eight, kids are more focusing on the concrete, concrete learning. Okay. Uh, I give you a, a detailed illustration. Okay. When we teach kids, uh, one plus one equal two. Okay, when you in the kindergarten, uh, okay, you got one apple at your hand and give another apple and the kids hat. And uh, okay, how many apples we have right now? Okay, the kids touch the apple and the answer we have two apple. Then okay, mm. when grow a, a bit older, we can draw an apple, one apple. Then ask kids draw another apple on paper. How many apple we have on the paper? Okay, it's two apple. Then it become one plus one equal two. Okay, so this is uh, one aspect uh, why uh, they prefer kids over eight to learn scratch. And there's another um, critical fact nowadays, especially during the pandemic age. Okay, uh, in China. Uh, since two years ago, we start the intensive online learning. And uh, okay, the consequence of that, the, the eye, eyes problem become very, very critical in China. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure uh, in, the, uh, in the Western society, but in China, okay. So which means, if the kids using the screen-based learning too early in the uh, too early, they will affect their eyes. Okay, consequently. So how to teach kids coding without a screen becomes some kind of must, especially in the kindergarten and the, in the grade one and the grade two. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of way to teach kids coding. There are a lot of ways. So we just uh, uh, give you some example today. Okay. So, uh, what's this? What's this? It's a puzzle. Yes, kids like to learn puzzle. Yeah, mm. this kind of puzzle, tile-based puzzle. Yeah, mm. tile-based puzzle. Okay, everybody uh, play puzzle before. Okay. Um, especially in your early age. Okay, why you play puzzle at your early age? I'm not sure whether you think, okay, why kids like to play puzzle or why every kindergarten they provide these kind of instruments. Okay, let kids play puzzle, tile-based puzzle. Okay, I, I asked the question uh, to some preschool expert in China. They told me, okay, the puzzle is a, um, perfect way to practice mm. the, the, the graphic compression. And uh, what's more, you know, uh, according to the, the evolution of a, a human being, okay, from the zero to three years old, kids are focusing on develop their large motion, large motion. And uh, in age four to seven, Small motion, small mm -hmm. motion. Okay, tile based the puzzle is a perfect and easiest way to practice kids. Small motion, small motion. Mm -hmm. So, so these are the live samples because I, I encounter lots in China uh, when uh, a kids in grade two or grade three, but they have some uh, problem while they are using mouse. Okay, why? They've got some problem using mouse because they mm -hmm. now practice more and small motion more in their early age. So, in light of by this tile based puzzle, here we got our suggestion and solution. Okay, this is kind of innovation solution combined with small motion, computational thinking, and the coding language. 
This is called tactile language. Tactile, tactile language. Okay. Thanks. Tactile language. Mm. Okay. Tactile language. Um, I'm not sure whether you 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 heard tactile language before, because uh, it is uh, something uh, invented ten years ago in Odin's Denmark Odin's. Okay. Then I just show you, okay, the evolution of human language and the computer language. And I, I put them together in the next slides. Okay. Okay. I call it a path to learn learning coding. Because coding is some kind of so coding is like language, okay, uh, from human to computer. So just like you learning English, okay? But we prefer to learn English with the teacher uh, who is an uh, English native speaker because uh, we understand, okay, the, the more we practice with native speaker, the, the faster we can, okay, learn English. So we better find the mother or the, uh, the source of mother tongue of coding. And we found the mother tongue. What is the mother tongue? Okay, here it is. In the university, in university we learn compliant language, C, C plus plus, Java, compliant language, mm -hmm. and then, okay, it is quite difficult to learn C and C plus plus, so we make it easy. Job. Okay, as long as you understand English, okay, you can learn this interpreted language, typically like Python, JavaScript. Okay, mm -hmm. it use English to interpret the compliant language. Okay, because it Python is built based on the compliant language. Then for kids with limited vocabulary. You can use this graphic based language, graphic based language, okay, like Milestone, like Scratch. Yeah, make yeah. it easier. Yeah, yeah, make it easier. It's use another way to express the mm. concept of compiled language. So in China, 100% uh, 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 coding school, they use the same path, okay, first learning Scratch, then learning Python, then C, because the basic is the same. Basic is the same, and just expression difference. So one is English, the other use graphic. But for kids before grade three, okay, they better uh, use this concrete language. Okay, something they can feel, they can touch, and teach almost the same syntax. Here we have the tile-based language, uh -huh. tile-based language. So, okay, this, this is the, the path, okay? Because every tile in tactile language, every tile contain an NFC chip, an NFC chip, and uh, a piece of C++ coding is written on each chip. So the machine, we call the Kubo, the robot, okay, Read every tile and puts all the piece of C plus plus language together and make it as a, a full C plus plus program. So they teach the same stuff like Scratch, like Python, and yes, with this concrete solution, kids can start learning coding from their early age. Okay, this the yeah the the, the general chart. So the base. The base is the uh, Kubo tactile, tile-based language. It will lead them to all those steps. No? Yeah. That's it, conclusion, yes. So that's why yeah. I have a, I have another question here for you, uh, Mick. Are tactile and Kubo solutions the appropriate tools and solution providing new methods, new methods to learn coding and generate mm -hmm. computational thinking within the students mm -hmm. with low complexity and why? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is a very, very good question. Okay, 
because of why, when I, I prepared these slides, okay, uh, last year, and uh, I found uh, a, a kind of milestone uh, article on IACM. Okay. So for me, coding is kind of transitional knowledge, which means it is from one language to another language. Mm. So uh, last year, okay, the ACM, the uh, International uh, in Conference Human Robots Interaction, they published an article, okay? So educational robotic and the media to transfer. The mm. scientists, they observe this kind of transition happen from tangible tile-based program to visual mm. block-based program. In another word, as long well as the kids learn the tactile-based language, they can easily to understand the advanced level language. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see. So this is this is quite interesting point. Okay. Okay. So it enlightens a lot of educators. Oh, kids can re learn real coding and they can build the same foundation like the advanced language in the future. Yeah. Mm. Um, okay. We can do a small test in yeah. the next slide. Okay, yeah, I'll let you, uh, I'll let you to, to feel this kind of transition. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure uh, uh, how, many, how, many, how many participants uh, learn any kind of language, computer language before. Yeah, if you can, if, 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 if you can put one, if they had, they know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. Yeah, as long as you understand one computer language, you can put one in the chat mm -hmm. box. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have ones, a lot of ones, <laughs> one, one, one. I told you, most of them are uh, IT, IT education experts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Basic. Yeah. So you have, have you have educators. Most of them are IT educators. One, okay, one, most one, of one. you. Are... So, okay, some so... of them they know basic, the basic, 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 basic language. The ten print, you know, the ten print, twenty input, uh, all language. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, then, okay, it is an easy job for you to experience. And I, 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 I do like this kind of uh, um, experiments uh, while we uh, facilitate in front of. Uh, uh, non IT background participants. Okay. Because as I said, okay, as long as you understand English, you can learn coding. Coding is not that difficult to learn. So I use the interpreter language to explain how simple it is. Here, I give you a piece of interpreted language. It is JavaScript, okay? And maybe you never learned JavaScript before, but you can guess, okay, what this function or what this program means. The, I don't know, moving forward, something moving forward, because mm -hmm. based on the English that we're reading, uh, Mr. Fuad, yeah. he's, uh, he's an expert in computer science, but. Yeah, you can you can type your answer. You can, <laughs> type, your answer you can yes. type your answer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What 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 does this uh, piece of programming mean? Okay. You can type it, or maybe you can open your microphone. Okay. Well, they're thinking. I think they function. need the answer. Yeah, yeah. Function, blue function. Okay. Because uh, in program, okay, they need to name every unique function. So oh. function and, okay. F function call to navigate. Yeah. Navigate. The yeah, motors, yeah, yeah. Perhaps for the cursor to move forward and uh, make a 90 degrees turn. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Mr. Uh, Frost, uh, yes, exactly. Exactly. Uh, yes, although you just learn basic, but okay, you can read it. He's humble, he's humble, he doesn't. Uh... Motors but move forward, okay. So motors move forward and the motors turn 
90 degrees. And I uh, here I have another question. Okay, uh, turn right or turn left? Okay, right 90 degrees or left to right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You see, yeah. it's working. Yeah, here, here, here. <laughs> yeah. here, here it is the, the turn right and 90 degrees because in the computer science we use plus and the minus to indicate the negative and the positive mm. yeah yeah so i think all of you as long as you, uh, you understand english you can recognize this piece of program easily but for kids it's quite difficult mm. here okay. we have a tile based language tactile language Okay, we can have a test. Okay, you can ask your kids to, okay, to answer. Okay, what this piece of language of this piece of program means? Okay, I have to do similar test before. Even the kids at four years old, he can recognize easily. Something move forward, something turn right. Okay, yeah. Why it's equal? Why it's equal? Because I said before you see in the left we have one two three four five five lines programmed and here we got one two three four five oh. five blocks okay then each block contain a chip and uh, on each chip uh, a piece of c plus plus program written inside so mm. yeah it's almost the same left and right okay the foundation or the basic is almost the same. So that's why the robot can perform the same task, almost mm -hmm. the same task. Okay. And here I have another question for all of you. Okay. You can see this kind of special cone, special cone. Okay. Mm -hmm. What kind of figure is similar? Or what kind of figure looks like? The the same cone. The parenthesis? Yeah. Yeah? They, 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 everyone <laughs> says parenthesis. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> the, uh, uh, the blank, okay, the uh, we call it a uh, big blank, okay. In the, uh, I'm sure when, when, whether you remember the first day the professor teach you computer science, especially in, in C or C. Okay. Mm. Remember the blank should appear in pair, appear in pair, because it indicates the begin of the program and the end of program. Here, mm -hmm. Kubo tactile language also belongs to the C language family. We use the same mm. icon. So the blank should appear in pair. Here, begin and it is end. Okay. Mm. Uh, it's it's uh, um, well attract another interesting topic. While we uh, facilitate a tactile course in front of teacher, a lot of teacher they have they are not IT background. But mm. okay, I I said all of you can learn coding in one hour. Why? Although you are not IT background, but most of teacher. You are good at telling story. Anyone remind the structure of story? The key structure of a story. Anyone can re re recall? Okay, what, what you taught in your early age? The structure of story. Mm. It is opening. Opening. Begins. Rowan is saying begin. begins. Yes. Yeah, okay, begin. Middle, middle. Middle, middle, and the end. End, yes. Yes, so blue, begin, in the middle, okay. First sentence, second sentence, then the end. Third one. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, okay. Yeah, just remember, coding is like drafting a story, okay. It's similar, it's similar. Okay, not that profound, not that profound. Okay, it's quite simple. Everyone can teach coding. 
Um, I have a gentleman in the next slide. You can guess who he is. Yeah, let them guess. Yeah, yes. Everyone, you can guess. Okay. If they guess, is that a gift? Gentleman? They're yeah. asking if they guess, is that a gift? <laughs> for them? Tell them, yes, no problem. <laughs> Who is he? Let's see. What we want to know. Yeah, who is this guy? Yeah, who is it? Yeah, yeah. Everyone, welcome to to put your answer in the chat box. Okay. Yeah, Tulin, <laughs> Tulin, Newton, Tulin, Newton, Tulin. Newton. Tulin. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Tulin is the most often hmm. answer, but it is um, no, 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 not the correct. No? Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's. Everyone know these gentlemen. Everyone, not everyone know Tulin, but everyone know the gentleman. Mm. Okay. This is, he is relate to story. Because I said, oh. programming is like story. Story. Mm -hmm. story. Okay. So Hands this is. Muhammad is saying hands. Yeah, yeah, hands, hands, yes, yes. Yeah. H.C. Christian Anderson. Anderson. Oh, Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. why, why we bring this gentleman here? Okay, because Kubo Tactile is from the same hometown of Anderson. Okay, oh. I said, them, Odin's, Denmark. Then, okay, we use this kind of storytelling way to teach kids coding. coding. Yeah, because all the program, they almost use the same syntax, just like drafting a story. Okay, so teachers, they don't need require any IT background and they can teach coding easily by this kind of hands-on concrete way to teach coding. Um, okay. So here is my boss, um, sitting in the audience, and uh, I said, Kubo Tactile, uh, it meant uh, 11 years ago. Initially, it's not uh, just want to invent something concrete or hands-on. It uh, originates from another project because Udens uh, is the fifth largest robotic cluster in the world. Uh, 10 years ago, there's a lot of uh, job vacancy for the high-tech development, mm. but no woman would like to apply for it. No oh. female working staff willing to do it. Yeah. So this is cause some headache because I uh, emphasize the, 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 the gender balance. Okay. I see. Why? Why girls don't willing to take this kind of job? Okay. And which will be so important in the future. And they found, okay, at 10 years ago, 11 years ago, the lack of this kind of uh, hands-on solution, mm -hmm. which can teach this story-like language. So this is Kobo invented. Okay. Cool. 10 years for, ago. For girl, it's girl friendly, girl friendly oh, okay. <laughs> instrument. Mm. They will love it, colors yeah. and stuff, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Then Kubo, um, right now, Kubo is the, 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 the belong to the Musk group, Musk Family Foundation. And uh, yeah, here we have uh, some very, very senior experts who mm. are sitting on board. Okay, so from Lego, Lego group. And uh, yeah, I know. Most of you are familiar with Lego and the, like Lego's approach. Oh yeah, the, the uh, robot, but, robots, yeah. Yeah, robots, okay. Yeah, to assemble why? robots. Yeah, 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 assemble robots. But why Lego is so popular in the Steam? Why Lego is so popular in Steam? Here is my answer, yeah. Because Lego is focusing on developed some, some toys with low stretch holds, high ceiling, mm. and the white walls. 
I'm not not sure whether you heard this sentence before. This sentence uh, uh, is from the, the 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 father of Scratch, Mitchell Resnick. Okay, so the best teaching tool should have these three critical or essential elements: low threshold, okay, which means kids can learn it very easily. Kids can play it in their own way very easily. Easy. Mm -hmm. And for high ceiling, yeah. Okay, we can play today. Then uh, next semester, next year, as long as the, the structure, the knowledge grown, okay, they can, mm -hmm. grow, the kids can grow together with this toy, okay? Then wide words. Wide words mean, okay, yeah, girl can play and uh, boy like to play, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, we have a lot of, uh, uh, expert from Lego, so the tactile, the whole tactile language, is stick to the sentence. Okay. Next, I will show the four continent and four content of tactile language. Mm. If you're familiar with any kind of computer language, you can just simply mapping your knowledge with tactile language, because as I said, coding is kind of transitional skills. Yeah. It can transition great. higher and it can transition low. Yeah. Great, great. Oh, here I give you the, the four curriculum. Okay, we have the Kubo starter, move on, super coder, and the math pack. Okay, and I explained the uh, uh, details one by one. Here we have the first we call the coding starter set. Coding starter set, okay, which is quite different to with an as a coding instrument, because we, what we're teaching is so unique. We're teaching the syntax, the basic syntax mm. of coding language, not tactile syntax. This syntax belongs to almost all computer, modern computer language. Mm. It is similar like C++, similar like a Python, similar like a Scratch. So we teach roots, and the direction, then basic foundation, subroutines, loops, recursive function, optimization. Okay. Then after this basic syntax, we have this advanced syntax. Okay. Kids can use time. They can control speed. They can set angles. A, of course, we have more complexity in the function. So we teach kids how to debug and the process to debug. And a very important concept which not taught in Scratch, but so important in every modern language, how to build, uh, how to build a library, how to build a library. Okay. so. Uh, uh, from what I observed, kids in grade one, they can understand the library and they can get used to build their own library and to use it to solve the ga uh, game problem. Yeah, <clears throat> it's so amazing. Then we have, we master the advanced syntax and we have the algorithm, mm. okay? Because we are coding language. Coding language, beside the syntax, we have the, Algorithm. Algorithm, we call it le logical algorithm, data storage, variables, conditional functions, events, random functions, customized angles, and the speed. What's more, we have the basic calculation or mass algorithm. Mass algorithm. We are mapping with the the key stage of UK system. Okay, kindergarten, grade one, grade two. Okay, you can put some math together with other, okay, to build the whole concept of modern computer language. It is almost the same, I think 80%, 80% the same like a scratch, but without a screen, okay? Mm. But what about 20% left? I will give you the answer in the follow space, uh, forest, okay? So besides that, okay, we wanna empower teacher and make teaching tactile 
as simple as solving puzzle. So we provide the whole STEAM curriculum, a blended materials. So I, now most of you are quite familiar with the, the Lego 4P model, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are the masters in curriculum design. And of course you are a master in STEAM curriculum design, especially. Mm -hmm. So the 4P model, project, peers, play, passion. Okay, this is the same way Kubo Tactile creates our continent. So with every course, okay, we build the project and we ask kids to exchange their ideas and we set up the rules how to play and the most of the, okay. The purpose we set up this project is to help the kids build up their passion to learn. As long as the kids build up their passion to learn code, they will learn by themselves. Okay, they will be, become more motivated. And uh, based on this concept, okay, we can very easily to mix coding with other subjects, other subjects. For me, horizontal integration, coding, which is yeah, integration. Future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, everything. In the, mm. everything, everything, everything. Coding, I said, coding is just kind of uh, communication tools. Okay, mm. it just is tool. Okay, the tool for the kids to use to solve problem, mm -hmm. to solve this. Uh, what for me. Kubo is not, or tactile is not science at the first stage. It belongs to art. Art. I'm not sure any others, uh, uh, any of you, okay, think the same. I agree teach with you. Computer. Okay. Yeah, teach computer is not science, especially in the early age. It's regarding to the arts. Then, mm -hmm size then we need the teamwork social okay build their social skills, skills. and uh, yes we ask kids to present their concepts mm. talk about the concepts and what's more we not only provide these in 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 classroom uh, activities we provide a lot of uh, out game okay which mm -hmm. can play the in the play out Okay. Extra clinical activities. Yes, yes, unplugged activities. I will explain them uh, mm -hmm. next. Okay, then, okay, we can integrate many subjects mm -hmm. math, drawing, language, history, graph, geography. Okay, you can put almost every subject together with coding because coding is a key, is a communication tool. That's it. Okay. Then, good, good, good. based on this concept, based on this kind of uh, Kubo developed a lot of standby, standby materials, mm. which means, okay, after one or two hours of uh, teacher training, the teacher without any IT background, they can deliver tactile coding class, okay, by our, by using our materials, okay? This is, uh, core concept, then we have a cross curricular approach. There are over 100 hour learning material, 100 hour learning materials ready now on Kubo. Yeah, to make, I think this is the easiest STEAM subject in the world, okay? Mm -hmm. Because it link with almost oh, every almost subject. subject. Science, technology, engineering, art, Science, mathematics, engineering, engineering, whatever. So yeah, the, yeah. This, this, this approach, Kubo approach, will link all the different steam in one package. Yeah. It will link them, it will create a bond with them so that all of, all of them, they can function properly and the student will be ready for the future. Oh, that's outstanding. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. But okay, although it seems like a different subject, but the two is the same, this is coding. And uh, the purpose of using the tool is to build up their computational thinking, the way to solve problem in the, in the best or the most optimized way. Okay. okay. What's more? Yeah, what's more? Yeah. Um, 
upon our research, especially during the pandemic, okay, a lot of school closed, mm -hmm. and uh, we developed this kind of OMO pedagogy. Okay, it's very, very unique, very, very unique. OMO stands for online merge offline, online merge offline. And you can see in, from the right or left to right, okay, in classroom, okay, mm -hmm. instruction, kids practice and the kids deliver presentation. But when the kids back home, they don't have Google or they, they don't have the concrete products or instrument at hand, okay, but they can use our blended way to practice review, to interact with parents. And uh, okay, they even can design their own stuff. Okay, it's a whole new way to facilitate both in school and after school. Yeah, so yeah, this is the Kubo approach. Okay, we, we're focusing on create an ecosystem for teachers, for educators, for parents to let them to use these coding tool to solve problem. Okay, so coding is so simple. It's just kind of tool to solve problem. That's it. So, so here you're, you're putting the foundation of blended learning, uh, horizontal integration and sustainable education, which is uh, the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the basics of the future learning, preparing the 21st lifelong learner for the future. Yeah. Great, outstanding. And yeah. that's why my next question, Mick, will be how can we integrate Cuba solutions and computational thinking within STEAM education, as you give us an idea now, and project-based learning? And can we consider today coding a crucial pillar of STEAM education and why? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just, just like I said, okay, this coding is two. Okay, I will answer, emphasize again and again, again, again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Before I answer your question, okay, I'll be, I will give you some real samples mm -hmm. to show, okay, answer your question. Before I answer it, uh, here is something I found. Why kids like coding, according mm -hmm. to my experience. I'm not sure yeah. whether any other uh, educator ever thinking the same question. Why kids like coding, especially in their early age? You can type your Answer in the chat box. In the chat box. Why kids love coding? That's the question. Yeah. Okay. Um, what? Uh, okay, Doctor Liu. Okay, uh, maybe you can you can ask the, the question. We leave the question uh, in the Q and A session. <laughs> yeah. At the end, we're going to have okay. questions. Yes. So we'll get, that's all the questions. Yeah, yeah. At the end. Yes. So here's my question. So they can be on computer what, what, for no, yeah, no trouble. They can be with no trouble. Actually, not all of them like coding. Yeah, Gabriel is saying that they can be with no trouble. Mohammed is saying they see immediate results of their efforts. Of efforts, and uh, if it's visual results, it's even more attractive. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of yes, the answers. Yes. I, I, like a, like game. a game, yeah. Yes, yes, okay, yes. I think most of you answer uh, the, in the correct way. Then uh, here is my answer. Because in China nowadays, there are over uh, millions of kids learning Scratch. Millions of kids learning Scratch, okay. Mm. Then, so I, I check the category in the official website from the, the Scratch, okay. Here you see, this, there are 10 category in Scratch. Motion, data, events, control, sensing, operators, more blocks, especially the functions. Okay. And it's quite interesting because I found the similar concepts in Python as well. Mm -hmm. Functions, operators, sensing, control, events, data. But, but, do you think these category attract kids? Some educator put in the chat box said, okay, like a game. 
Why people like why kids like a game? Because it can move the character. Because it can put some spirit he like okay into the game. Because he can record his or her own voice. Okay, he could paint his or her home or kindergarten. Okay, this is the feature kids can. See, can listen. Okay, this is the feature kids can create directly, directly. So, okay, kids, why kids like coding? Okay, okay. Here's another suggestion. Okay, relate to this question. In the future, the the software, um, the the, the training company would uh, teach Scratch and Python. They will become the comic company. They will become animation company. Because okay, only animation, comic, can attract people, kids' attention. Okay. Then we have uh, this. Okay, I put cool books or tactile category together. Then here you find. We have motion, function, control, sensing, operators, data, mm -hmm. events, all seven major category. Of yes, yes, okay. Almost the same, almost the same, like Scratch, like Python. Mm -hmm. But in tactile language, we don't have pen, we don't have logs, we don't have sound. Why? Why? This is a question I raised, and you can think and find your own answer in the following slides. Why tactile or why these concrete coding lessons don't have pen, don't have locks, don't have sound? Okay, then answer the, the question. Okay, integrate Kubo solution together with the company checking is also found the answer in the next slides. Because I indicate again, I emphasize again, coding is kind of tool to develop kids' exploration and creativity. Here is some pictures, you see? This is coding. What they are doing? What they are doing? What they are doing? Playing games. Play games. What kind of game? Alphabet or something. I don't know. Like <laughs> ABC, okay. Or... Yes. Okay. They are. They are having the coding lesson. Mm. Oh, tactile Benjamin. coding lesson. Tactile mm. coding lesson. Oh. Okay. Without this computer, without screen, without yeah, anything. without the screen, without anything. Okay, we have this kind of floor game in global tactile pedagogy. Okay, a lot of uh, unplugged activity to enlighten kids. Okay, not because it is a poor area. Okay, but it gives kids a direct feeling. What kind mm -hmm. of feeling? The, Perception of direction. Okay, you see here, left from left to right. Okay, you see what's this? What is what's this block? You can guess. Yeah, yeah, they are learning. Yeah, logical uh, my my side coding. Yes, sure, yes, sure. Yes. Yeah, and uh, it is almost the same. Logic. Like yeah. teaching. It is almost the same like teaching Scratch. What mm -hmm. they're learning, okay. The block, why they require block? Because as, as long as you recognize, uh, recall uh, the first day in computer class, the teacher, the instructor will say, okay, how to make a movement? First of all, you should have a coordination system coordination system. So this block is coordination system. Mm. And the second 
A second the key point is the position or coordination. Kids should learn coordination. Then in the middle, they put the movement or movement tile, okay, in sequence. Then we have our Kubo. How many Kubo are there in the right picture? How many Kubo? Four, five. Okay. Two Kubos, Two okay? Kubos. Okay, you see the small Kubo and the teacher Kubo, okay? Ah, the small Kubo, yeah, 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 yeah. The small Kubo learns the guy who, yeah, yeah, yeah. equality of direction mm -hmm. and the move mm -hmm. from his the coordination mm -hmm. and try to, okay, get around the teachers, okay? This is a very, very simple way to teach coding. As I said, coding is not that difficult. This is a project we collaborate with uh, the Afro School, uh, I think two, three years ago, okay. In, in six months, okay, they master all concepts in the coding tactile basic set, okay. Function, subroutines, okay, all of this by this hands-on stuff, hands-on stuff. What's more, as I said, Coding is a transitional skill, transitional knowledge. So from this flow game, from this flow game, they can transition their concept, transition their feelings to the next stage. What is the next stage? We call it desk, desk game, desk game. Okay. So now here is the desk game. We ask kids to build a, a village, build a village. So from the right, you can see two kids, one, okay, coding, the other, okay, writing story, writing story, mm -hmm. okay. Then in the left picture, you see, okay, this is a very simple A3 paper. And uh, you, okay, there's some um, plastics, uh, there are some scissors, so, okay. You can see all the stuff put on the left picture could be found in your classroom easily. No special instrument required. No screens, no computers, no. No keyboards, screens, no. no computers. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. For kids, it's quite simple. The task is to set up the uh, set up the, the the floor. Then, okay, draw draw the the grassland of the village and build a tree and uh, okay. What's more? And Kubo that will go village. around and read them. Yeah, yes. Who is the villager? Who is the villager? Mm, Kubo. Small villager. Yeah, bring, bring the umbrella. It could be Kubo, it could be uh, yeah. Maggie or whatever. Okay. Mm. You know, why? Why every class we ask kids to dress up Kubo? Outstanding. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether you remember uh, the 4P format, 4P concept. Okay. Project, pass, pass, project, peers, play, passion. Mm. The reason why we build up this kind of classroom activity is to enlighten kids' passion, enlighten kids' motivation to learn how to enlighten kids' passion. I think in English, it's another uh, explanation or another Another way to explain how to ignite the passion, we call it compassion or empathy. Mm -hmm. This is the best way to trigger their passion. Okay, why every girl like a Bobby? Why every kid like uh, the transformer? Okay, they can decorate. The, the robot can be his or own puppy. And uh, there's some interrelationship will be built up by this declaration. Okay. So outstanding. Next, it's outstanding. Next, we can observe this kind of interrelationship between robots and the kids together. Okay. I put two pictures here. This is uh, some works from the kids, okay. Also, you don't see 
the, the master of the robot. But first, just guess the gender. Okay, boy or girl. Okay, left picture is made by a boy or girl, or right picture is made by a boy or girl. You can put your answer in the chat box. Mm. Left boy. Left boy, <laughs> right girl. Yes. Right girl. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's very, it's very easy, very easy to, to recognize why. Okay, boy, the one like put the sword. Okay, in the space. Okay, um, uh, Jedi. Mm -hmm. Then the girl. Okay, put a small bag. Okay, and the head. Okay, let's get more deeper. Let's get more deeper. Okay. It's easy to recognize. Then, what's this? What's this? I don't know. He looks like a. What's this? What's this? Okay. You mean a boy it's or a girl? Difficult. Yeah, it's become difficult. Okay. What's this? A machine has no gender. That's what. Yeah, uh, machine has. Is in. Yeah, yeah, sure. Machine has no gender, but people, kids can give gender. Okay. Mm, I see. Yeah, what's yeah. this? Okay. Let Anyone can. It's a, it's a very famous in China. <laughs> difficult. It's, made, it's made by a boy no, no, or girl. It's no, difficult no, to tell. No. What is this figure? Panda, okay, panda. Yeah, panda. panda. Yes, panda. yes, panda. You okay. See, panda. the new panda. <laughs> <laughs> panda. Okay, then. Uh, okay, this is the most difficult picture. Okay, let's observe the compassion together. What's this? What's this? Dragon. Dragon, a bird, uni unicorn, unicorn, unicorn. Mm, unicorn. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. What's the name? Lot, the lot are saying unicorn. Yeah. What's the name? What's the name? What's the character the name? of this character? Oh, this yeah, fish. <laughs> Some is saying fish. Ah, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. pony. 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 Small horse. Yeah, pony. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, unicorn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pony, mm -hmm. small pony. The horse, small the pony. unicorn. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Okay. It, it, this picture, the picture does amaze me. Okay. Because uh, I cannot recognize it. But when I uh, show in front of uh, uh, kinder kindergarten teachers, mm. Almost every time, it could be recognized easily. This is pony. Pony. Yeah, because the kids who created it. Okay. So this is compassion. Mm -hmm. As long as we decorate the robot, okay, we can observe this kind of compassion happens. Okay, which makes kids more passionate to learn, mm -hmm. more eager well, to play with these small friend mm -hmm. yeah you see this is uh, the creator okay yeah mm. so this is kind of the integration okay coding is cook is tool okay the kids use tactile language and decorate machine build up their own stage create their own story and solve the problem the design in the stage. This is, the, yeah. So that's why I said, okay, first of all, coding is about art. Art. Coding is about art. Yeah. Great, great. Outstanding. So, my next question, uh, make it outstanding, really outstanding. It's a, it's a totally new approach without computers, without screens, without assembling robots. You, you're teaching them computational thinking, you're teaching them. Uh, uh, a certain type of art, mathematics, everything integrated. That's why my next question will be, 
How can Kubo Solutions help students nurture, as we saw here, 21st century lifelong learning traits and attract them to be in love with coding and programming? Already give us the answer and programming. Additionally, can we state today that coding represents one of the major pillars needed? We saw that too, to reach the apex of horizontal integration. Yeah, 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 no, definitely. And I, uh, to, to prefer to answer your question, okay, uh, uh, because I talked a lot today and mm -hmm. uh, I prepare several small videos. Okay, this is, uh, this video is uh, uh, taken from the real class. Okay, you can observe from the video, the behavior and the feedback. Mm. Of kids from three years old, four years old, five years old, and the behavior of yeah. primary school. Yeah. Great, great. Let's do it one by one, okay? Yes, this yes, is yes. Uh, in the K1. In the K1, they, they put it together. They celebrate to have the first day. Outstanding. Yeah. Okay. Fun, illusion approach. Okay. They're having fun. They think <laughs> yes, that they're they having fun. fun, but they are really learning. Yes, yeah. Montessori. Maria Montessori. Bravo, bravo. Yeah, yeah. Learning while playing, I think. Yes, okay. yes, yes, um, yes, yes. And in the, in the next video, okay, mm -hmm. please pay attention to the kid's eye. Please pay, pay attention to the kid's yeah. eye. Mm -hmm. Okay. While they, okay. You see? That's okay. It. From K2, they use pen and the paper. Five Why years old. Why they use pen and the paper? Mm. Okay. You see? It's, it's different from the previous year. It's pen and paper. They cannot write. Concentrate on the movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very concentrate on it. Yeah. Because uh, kids in that age, usually they lack of concentration. Okay. But by using this hands on stuff, it can concentrate while they make movements, concentrate the while, while they are painting, design the pass, concentrate on the movement of the robots. Then, okay, we can see. Um, in the third year in kindergarten, third year in kindergarten, okay. Third year. I like this video especially because you can observe almost every element in the STEAM subject. Mm. In okay. this video. Okay. Coding or tactile class, first of all, it's kind of art. So, design the road, design the stage, all by kids, all by kids now. Design the scenario, design the path, optimization, coordination. I'm not sure whether you observe the coordination. Yes, right? yes. Okay, three robots on the same stage. Okay, it requires the team to communicate with each other. Otherwise, it will collide. Okay, so this is something. Everyone is saying awesome oh, that they like it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's, it's it, outstanding, it, outstanding. Yeah. What's more, this is not a Kubo's curriculum. This is not a standard curriculum. This is something the teacher created, mm. which is enlightened by our curriculum. I see. I, impressed, I impressed by yeah. Kubo curriculum. He's creative and created new approaches. Yes. Outstanding. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, next, mm -hmm. okay, you see, okay. Kids growing up, then okay, more profound knowledge should mm -hmm. integrate mm -hmm. in, when they in the primary school. Okay. Yes. It's a national competition in China. The 
main theme is protect ocean. Protect ocean. A lot of creatures uh, that our human beings, a lot of rubbish in the ocean and our human forest ecosystem. Okay, we got chemistry, plastic, uh, grass, rubbish, metal, uh, life, rubbish. What you can do? First of all, clean the ocean. Then to search the ocean. Fish okay. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, see the rubbish. Okay. This collecting rubbish and the thing. <laughs> collect as many as possible and send it back to the ship. Okay, after that, okay. We are okay. The way of that, turtle that. We'll put on the scuba, the scuba diving equipment and more. Please pay attention. This stage is so simple. It's a You can design it by yourself. You can use almost any subject. Just simply change the background. Competition just like play game, but the game that's it. But the, the only difference is that the game is designed by itself. You have you have a standing innovation from everyone. Outstanding, they like yeah. it. They like it. They like it. Yeah, yeah. We have lot. Yeah, we we have a lot of uh, these kind of small videos, and uh, yeah, this this is very very short videos. It's mm -hmm. enlightening you from another aspect because I, I'll be always asked. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, besides the movements, anything else Kubo can do? Anything else Kubo can do? And my answer is, okay, we focus on teaching coding skills. Mm -hmm. And Kubo only can move. Only can move. But our society is built based on movements. Yes. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, almost everything based on movements. So, if we put other elements by our creativity mind, we have a very, very interesting subject. Okay, you can guess what this is. <laughs> what they are doing? Dancing? <laughs> Yes, yes, dancing, Listen. dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess if you have if you have a uh, thirty kubo, what can you do? A dancing group. Yes, dancing group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can you can uh, have Dubai. Okay, the letter. Okay, mm -hmm. by programming. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is excellent, this is excellent a project in uh, a Danish uh, school. Okay. The requirement is so simple, okay? The kids should find the music by themselves. Mm. They design the movement by themselves. They should 
Okay. What? They should what? Do a very, very important on the show day. They should do what? They should dress cool up mm -hmm. because they're dancing. I okay. see. Yeah. Outstanding. So Outstanding. for for cobalt tactile lessons, I think this is a very, very easy tool to build up kids' critical thinking, creativity thinking, and the problem solving. Okay. Which is the basics of, we of 21st computer. century learning. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Coding, coding is one of the best way, okay, to teach these three elements. Yeah. Outstanding. Outstanding. Okay. My next question, Mick, which will be the question that we have five minutes left, and it's very, very, really, and later we can, all the, the attendees, they can ask the question, educated can ask the questions. What role okay. coding, hands-on programming, and computer thinking play in creating, because as we see here, we have a lot of elements of creating a full inclusion habitat in schools. For uh, schools. Yes, yes. The, this is something um, uh, well, Kubo also are working on to, mm -hmm. to have this kind of inclusive uh, education method. Mm -hmm. Okay, besides we uh, collaborate with the kindergarten, collaborate with the schools, and we provide more special solution. Mm -hmm. in our special way. Okay, in, in China, okay, last, last year, we collaborated with uh, Suzhou Education Bureau to provide the coding solution for blind and deaf kids. Oh. I think this is the first solution which the blind kids can play coding same as the normal kids do. Okay, the picture Okay, beside it is a real scenario. Okay, real scenario picture. We have, uh, we hold uh, a, a competition that the blind and the deaf kids play together with normal kids because they don't want to treat special. They want to treat as normal. So by Kubo tactile solution, we make it possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, from, from 2017, we collaborated with Mr. Morton Jackson um, how to use autism. Kubo to help the autism kids. Excellent. Because autism kids, the population of autism kids grow very, very rapidly. So in China, there are over 3 million autism kids. But by using this kind of robotic and coding instrument, okay, we can let the kids mm -hmm. to be cured, okay, by this innovation instrument. Yeah. So this is another important stuff we're doing. And uh, yeah, if, if you are interested to explore more regarding this uh, autism and uh, blind or whatever, yeah, we can work. Um, yeah, me and my team, yeah, I'm too glad to collaborate with you. Okay. Okay, great, great. Thank you, thank you, Mick. And uh, my, my last question, we want to know a little bit about the main achievement. What are the main achievement? And we see that there are a lot. Uh, of core robotics in preparing our students to become 21st century lifelong learners right for today and ready for tomorrow. If you have given us, I know we, we don't have to turn that, just a fast idea, please. We don't want to take a lot of hours, but just a fast idea, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I just go, go quick. I just realized, yeah. okay, I spent too much. No, no problem. <laughs> too Everyone much. is happy, they're following you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just give, give you some, some, some milestones, okay, we have, okay. Uh, yeah, well, Kubo joined the Dubai World, World Expo. So, okay, we, uh, we mm -hmm. present the Danish pavilion. Then uh, we working closely with the Danish government in China. Mm -hmm. We call the sign of Danish child-friendly community. And the last mm -hmm. year we set up the, the first sign of Danish child-friendly community. Okay, uh, with the local government. And uh, this year we hope more and more community will set up these kind of facilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We want to help the community. We want to help to the parents. We want to have the family education as well. Yeah. Excellent, yeah. excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, and uh, yes, beside the last page. Okay, this is the uh, this is my contact. If you you're looking for more information, you can uh, add me my WeChat or email me, and I prepare a special slideshow. Okay. What? Special slideshow. Okay. To give you some 
Samples. Samples, real samples. Maybe it can enlighten your own steam with Kubo or use other instruments. As I said, coding is a kind of tool. And the program itself is kind of art. First, it should be art first, then trigger kids' interest and passion. The picture you see is taken from the competition. Okay, each team, they bring their own friend, small friend, dressed up friend. Okay. So Kubo can be anything. He's everywhere. Yes. He's, he's, he's everyone and everywhere. And he can yes. perform all tasks. He's a pirate, he's a dragon, he's a king, a queen, a cat. The character, everything, everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Satellites. The satellites, satellites. Everything. The astronauts. Creativity, innovation, real life based education. It's all there. All 21st century lifelong learning skills is there. Kubo is yeah, not yeah, just yeah. as we saw. It's just as it's, 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 not, it's nothing to do with IT. It's everything. It's everything. Yes, yes. It's integrated yeah. in everything. In science, in art, in math, in everything. Yeah. And I emphasize this picture. Okay. Because this is a very typical uh, Kubo uh, scene while we're teaching, mm -hmm. okay? You can design your own map, okay, with paper or with any materials. Then you better prepare a plate, put tile inside it because, uh, okay, every, every time you begin the lesson, you ask kids to calculate mm -hmm. the tile because it's concrete tiles. Then after every class, you let them to calculate again, okay? Then, okay, you see, this is something which is not seen in the robotic or other coding class. Paper, paper. You have seen in the kindergarten before, but okay. I hear is another kind of paper required in the classroom. Mm. You can guess why? Because we are teaching computational thinking. Mm. Computational thinking. We ask kids to plan first. Plan first. Plan first. Okay. You can guess why this girl, okay, five years old, draw a circle. Why? Because the girl is trying to optimize the route. Yes. How to yeah. optimize route? Okay. It's a very effectual way to use loop to optimize the program. Of course, it's another way to use subroutes. So kids, even in five years old, they can master subroutes. As long as you provide this kind of scenario, okay? You can use Kubo or other, yeah. Kids' capability is far beyond our knowledge, I think. Yes, yes. Piaget. Yeah. Jean Piaget, yes, yes, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Outstanding. Really, it's, a, it's an approach that is totally different than whatever we had until now in different IT uh, approaches, robotics approach, totally different. It's the right approach because this approach, as you said, you prepare their mindset to be right for today for tomorrow. Just not they will depend on the machines. The machines will be dependent with them. They will create the machine. They will create the logic behind the machine. They will create everything within the machine. It's not the other way around. We have the machine, we just write the instructions and the machine will do everything. No, we need to be creative. We need to have the computer thinking. We need to create yeah. everything. Really great, great webinar. As you see here in the chat box, uh, great webinar. Thank you, super great session. Everyone enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Mick and John. Wonderful session. I thoroughly enjoyed and brush up my moods of innovative uh, way of uh, teaching. A lot, a lot, a lot. How can Kubo prepare educational systems? So we have questions now. We'll, we'll answer the questions too. Okay. A lot of people, they want to join you. For example, they have one with your LinkedIn, Muhammad. So now, uh, as a conclusion, as a conclusion, we can say that make today, computational thinking and real IT education, the genuine one, the one that you showed us, are not anymore just tools and approaches to help establish the lifelong learner-centered, differentiated, facilitating and learning environment. 
but yeah. they are mm -hmm. a major, crucial, and essential pillars of 21st century education. And furthermore, they are redefining and generating new strategies, new methodologies, new pedagogical approaches to make sure that our students are able to overcome the 21st century challenges and to make sure that they are right for today and ready for tomorrow. Thank you very much. Really, it was an outstanding webinar. Everyone is happy and there is a lot of questions now. Uh, Mick, if you're ready to answer them, thank you, really, really. Outstanding, okay. outstanding, very innovative. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, John. Thank you, and thank you. And thank you all the attendees and we'll go now 10, 15, 20 minutes. Mick is ready to be with you. Okay, with all your questions. Again, inspirational yeah. and uh, mind blowing. And don't forget yeah. that uh, Juan Pamuj will have another uh, webinar every month in February 19 with formative assessment techniques. New formative yeah. assessment with the great educator, Mr. Cormac Davy.